Officials now reporting nearly 50 people have died. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Justin Mormuth. As CBS's Omar Villafranca reports, it's all part of a growing crisis along the southern border. Tonight we are dealing with a horrific human tragedy. San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg urged compassion and prayers as local officials described the grisly scene that awaited first responders yesterday evening. The first 911 calls came in just before 6 in the afternoon local time after a city worker in the area heard a cry for help coming from a nearby tractor trailer. That witness then found the doors partially opened with a number of deceased individuals inside. When officials arrived on the scene, the enormity of the tragedy became clear. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. Temperatures in the area yesterday ranged from the high 90s to the low 100s. No signs of water in the vehicle. It was a refrigerated tractor trailer, but there was no uh, visible working AC unit on that rig. This is not the first migrant related tragedy to strike San Antonio in recent years. Back in 2017, 10 migrants died after they were found in a sweltering semi trailer near a local Walmart. But the sheer number of dead in this latest incident is once again shedding light on a migrant crisis along the southern border and the human smugglers who get them there and beyond. Already this fiscal year, U.S. Customs and Border Protection has recorded more than 1.5 million encounters in the Southwest, nearly the same amount as all of 2021. We don't know where the trailer was headed, but it's worth noting that we're a few hundred yards away from Interstate 35 which starts at the Texas-Mexico border and goes all the way up to Minnesota. It is a known smuggler's route. Federal officials with the Department of Homeland Security are here and they are now leading the investigation. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, San Antonio, Texas.